Hi everybody, it's Aaron Blaze again, and I'm back for episode number three of Aaron's Art Tips. I'll try to keep it short this week. Uh, I just got back last night from a great trip to Vermont. I was up there visiting family, friends, and um, and painting. And uh, and while I was there, it really struck me that I, it's something that you know I should talk about this week, and that is drawing on location. Um, sketching, painting, whatever it may be from life and the importance of it. You know, as we, as artists, as we grow older, we build a, uh, a visual or mental library, I always call it, uh, a mental library of experiences, visions, things that we've seen throughout our life as artists. And one of the examples I use is, is look at a, uh, go up to a five-year-old child, someone that's just learning to draw, just starting to draw and ask them to draw a tree. Well, what they'll usually draw is you know, maybe a couple of bent lines and the squiggly lines over the top. And that's their idea of a tree. And that's all it is. It's an idea of a tree. And it's not until you have that, that child go out and you sit down with them and you point a tree out to them and you say, now look at that tree and draw that tree. Well, their perception or their ideas of what a tree is change. And that's what drawing out in the field does. As The more you go out and draw from life, the more you're recording information because you're not just looking at stuff, you're seeing it, you're examining it, you're looking at the contours, at the lighting, at the textures, at everything that makes up whatever it is that you're drawing or painting. So that when you do go back into the studio and you want to do concept work or you want to do landscapes or, or whatever it may be, you've got a library that you've built up in your brain. Another way that I explain it is as you're looking at something, all that information comes through your eyes and it's filtered through your brain and it comes out your arms and you draw and you paint. Well, when it gets filtered through your brain and gets processed, it gets stuck in there and it's stuck in there forever. And that's why the more you go out, the more you're gonna see lighting and the more you're gonna see anatomy and the more you're gonna see behaviors and, and everything else that makes up our life experience. And those are the things that translate into being a great artist. And I, I just want you to kind of absorb that and just think about going out. And I don't care if you go to the mall. I don't care if you're sitting at a gas station. It doesn't have to be, you know, sitting on the plains of Africa or it doesn't have to be sitting in the fall foliage in Vermont like I was just doing. It can be sitting at the mall, which I've done plenty of times, or sitting in a restaurant drawing somebody across the way. But you're going to absorb the world around you. So that's my art tip for this week. But, you know, try it. It's not comfortable. It's not it's not an easy thing to do. Um, but the more you do it, the more you loosen up, the more you'll enjoy it, and the more you'll soak up. Once again, remember, it's not about doing a great drawing. It's about recording information. And all that information can be brought back to the studio. Okay? So I hope you enjoy. Um, I hope this helps a little bit for this week. I know this one was short. We'll have some more hands-on stuff next week. Uh, but until then, uh, go out, try some drawing on location. Happy drawing, happy painting, and we'll talk to you then. Thanks a lot. Bye.